Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Scorpio Jewel here, about to drop a reading for the sign of Scorpio. I was originally supposed to get on here and just do all signs. And I'm so used to doing roll the dice that I started rolling the dice. So we left off with Libra and we're going to just go forward and we're going to skip Gemini and we're going to go through until we get to Virgo. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. This is a timeless message. Um, all placements for the sign. Um, we're dealing with energy, no gender. Um, I may or may not call the signs. Don't get hung up on that because we all have all the zodiac signs in our chart, some more prevalent than others. Okay. So if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a general reading, general, okay? For personal readings, hit the description box, okay? So, we're going Scorpio on to Virgo, skipping Gemini. Gemini has been done already, okay? Here we go. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. What's coming towards you, Scorpio? What's coming towards Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. High Priestess and it's crossing. You see it's crossing. It ain't reversed or upright. It's crossing. So we're going to leave it crossing. There we go. Confusion here. <clears throat> Here we go. Messages for Scorpio. Gang in the building. What's coming towards you? What's going on? What do Scorpio need to know? Oh, shit. The Emperor in reverse. Okay. That's that. Three of Wands in reverse. Damn. Judgment. There you go on the board. I got to fix my camera. Give me a second. And then this one here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I guess. Y'all can see that. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to read these cards and clarify and then the story may or may not change okay so let's go with these we got the high priestess crossing the emperor in reverse the three of wands in reverse judgment that's your energy and in, uh, in the upright and eight of pentacles in the reverse okay high priestess that is pisces energy Okay, it looks like we got some confusion here. One minute you're following your intuition, one minute you're not. One minute you got the fortitude and the drive, one minute you don't. One minute you are, um, one minute you enlightened, one minute you confused. You know what I'm saying? It's back and forth here. And it's, it has to do with uh, spirituality, you know, uh, higher learning, you know, um, Whatever area in your life that is requiring higher elevation, okay? So, you got the emperor in reverse. This is um, lack of balance, a person. This is um, being mean, a tyrant, controlling, you know, three of wands in reverse. That's no action, no direction, or waiting, stagnancy judgment a decision um let's see an eight of pentacles uh giving up uh something not working out we gonna see all right so what's this high priestess that's crossing why is it here for scorpio what did i ask what's coming towards you okay 
coming to us, Scorpio. Why is this high priestess crossing here? Here we go. The Scorpio. This is the in between. The in between time right there. You know, the high priest is in reverse. That's surface knowledge. And the upright is higher knowledge. You know what I mean? It's conceit, vanity. You know. Ooh. Fruitfulness, abundance. Ooh, the hierophant in the upright. Taurus energy. Okay, yep, this is, has to do with spirituality or higher learning. Here we go. One more card. Ooh, the emperor in reverse. Okay. Control issues. Tyrancy. A lack of growth. A lack of stability. This is a bunch of lack. This is, uh, you know, confusion. Um, ooh, shy. What we at with it? Ooh, it's a lot, Scorpio. Here we go. Tyrancy, abuse of power. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Looks like it's a battle between good and evil here. Because the emperor in reverse is like, you know, that's all bad. You know what I'm saying? That's recklessness. That's slander. You know, like you're slandering people, Scorpio. It's like you, it's a battle between your higher self and lower self right here. Okay, let's move on to the emperor in reverse. Yeah, it's a battle going on here, baby. A battle within, you know, uh, like I said, your higher self and lower self. So this is a spiritual here. Here we go. You look like it's something that you got to give up over here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We're going to get there. Here we go. Page of Cups. You got the Emperor in reverse. Clarified by the Page of Cups in the upright. And the Five of Cups in the upright. Sadness, trying to do something new, but sad about it. Maybe you want to be in this badass way right here. And if you do go off and jump off the porch like that with this Page of Cups energy in the upright, you're going to be sad and regretful. You know, give me one more card for the Emperor in reverse. The Scorpio. Eight of Swords in reverse. Coming out of being stuck. Any more? We're going to take them. Two of Swords in the upright. Four swords in the upright. Yeah, coming out of being stuck, making a final decision here, um, making the choice, making the decision to just chill and be cool. Take your rest. Be cool. Here we go. Three of wands. I got to put all this together here. What's going on? Three of wands. Three of wands in reverse for Scorpio. Delays, waiting, bad decisions, bad actions, bad choices. Let's see what's going on. Three of Wands in reverse. The Scorpio. Three of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Something ain't growing. Something is 
stagnant. Something, something ain't going right with the money. Something is funny, honey. Here we go. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Keep working. World in reverse. It ain't over. Sun in reverse. Uh, lack of optimism here. You're not happy, Scorpio. Let's move on to judgment. I'm going to clarify all of this in one second. Judgment. Okay. Three of Wands in the upright. Got three of Wands on the board two times. We got Eight of Pentacles on the board two times. So you're making a choice to take some action. Star in the reverse. Star in reverse. Yeah. To give up, you giving up on something, you ain't hopeful about something, you just like something is over with. Here we go. Give me more for this judgment, though. No, move on to the Eight of Pentacles. There we go. The devil in the upright. We got some clear, major clarification to go on right here. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Will of Fortune in the upright. One more. There we go. The Empress in reverse. All right. So, it's a lot of majors on this board, Scorpio. A lot of majors. You got the Emperor on the board two times in reverse and the Empress on the board two times in reverse. This is major. Okay. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, this is a battle right here between your higher self and lower self and shit. Okay? So, this look like what's going on here is like your lower self, you really want to go and be petty right here with this. Uh, no, I don't want to say petty. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. You really want to go ahead and be petty right here with this page of cups right here. But if you do so, you're going to be sad. You're going to regret it. You know what I'm saying? If you jump out here and be petty and shit. You know, you deciding to come up out your head about the situation. Be, um, you know what I'm saying? Free yourself of the situation, the mental confusion or whatever. Make a sound decision to just chill. You know what I'm saying? Be at peace with whatever situation this is. You know, now, so you waiting right here with the three of wands in reverse because something is not growing, you know, but you working, you, you continuing to work towards it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't over with. The world is in reverse. You know, the cycle ain't over with. So the world is in reverse. And at the same time, you know, you are really not feeling like you're not happy about this whole situation right here. Whatever this is, we're going to clarify it. And, you know, you're making a decision to just go ahead and give up on something. Give up on this, whatever this, this devil energy right here is. And this is also, with this empress in reverse, this is also like, you know, it's bearing no fruit. You know what I'm saying? You're giving up on it because it's going to give you happiness. Things going to go in your favor if you give up on this. Let whatever this is right here go. And you know what I'm saying? Because it's not bringing you happiness, joy, fruitfulness, abundance. It's not bringing this shit into your life. So let's see here. Scorpio, Scorpio, what's going on, baby? Or this could be somebody offering you something and you're going to be, or they sad or regretful or some, some shit. Let's see. Okay. Page of Cups in the upright for Scorpio. It's your energy too. That's why I said you want to be petty. Or a water sign. Damn, that's heavy right there. It's a lot. 
Let's go. Crazy cuts for Scorpio. Moist on the upright. Here we go. Damn. So we got three ones on the board two times. I mean, three times. Okay. And the four swords. Four swords on the board two times in the upright. So, you know, here you go here, Scorpio. You got an opportunity here. You battling with yourself to be childish. You know what I'm saying? To be childish and petty about a situation here. You know, you, you really battling your higher self and your lower self right here. Like, you know better, but you don't want to do better. You feel me, Scorpio? You want to be childish right here. Page of Cups is childish energy. You know what I mean? But it's a wrong course of decision if you do that. If you do that, like I said, you're going to be sad here. You're going to be regretful. You're going to, you know, you're really going to regret that. So, you know, and you thinking to yourself just to let the situation be in this four of swords is the wrong thing to do. Because you you really want to be childish. You you want to you wanna kick it off. Better one funny when I kicked it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to be on some bullshit. But you know you need to just chill. Because if you be childish, this is the wrong course of action to take. Set your ass down. Four of swords right here. Four of swords right here. Look like you making that choice, though. You come out of your head. Come out this battle right here between your higher self and lower self. Come out of this, in this eight of swords in reverse energy. Make the decision to just chill. Let the situation just be. Two of swords again on the board. Just fell out. But we're going to put that back. Now, Scorpio, moving on. Now, this three of wands in reverse, this is waiting. Okay, you was working towards something right here with this Eight of Pentacles right here. Okay, this is probably why, you know, you just decided to chill because you working on something right here, Scorpio, with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse and stuff. It ain't there yet, you know what I'm saying? Because you working on it, you know. It ain't, whatever ain't came to pass yet, you know, whatever fruition completion of it it ain't came to pass yet even with the um world in reverse you know what i'm saying things not going so well either you know what i'm saying scorpio you know with the sun in reverse as well you know maybe you're not hopeful in it but you're still working towards it you know what i'm saying it's a lot of waiting contemplating shit like that you know probably losing some money what's this queen of pentacles in reverse. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio? And this is uh, probably working towards some type of business here. And it ain't came to pass yet. It ain't it ain't quite got off the got off the rope. Uh, it, it ain't quite got off its feet yet here, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You dumping money into it too, baby. Queen of Pentacles in reverse <laughs> with this eight of pentacles. Thank you. You dumping money in the Scorpio. You steady working towards it. Here we go. Chariot, like I said. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's uh, cancer energy. You steady moving towards it. You know what I'm saying? You steady working towards this, this business or this family or whatever, family life. Because it's, you know, Queen of Pentacles, you know, you know. Family and shit. 
Pentacles is family, legacy, and shit like that. Maybe that's what you're trying to do, build a legacy or something. Build something for your family. You know what I'm saying? But you're working towards it, okay? The shit still ain't came to pass yet. You know what I'm saying? Give me the world in reverse and the sun in reverse. Combination for Scorpio. Because you waiting. Three of Wands here. You waiting and steady putting in work, steady putting in effort, steady going towards the shit. Here we go. Oh, no, Scorpio. I'm looking at the progression here. I hope you don't give up. Yeah, you, okay. Hold on. Because mm, what's the world in reverse and the sun in reverse? You got to keep going, man. Maybe this is not you being childish. Maybe this is you about to try to give up on something prematurely here, Scorpio. Your faith is being tested right here. Hmm. Here we go. World in reverse. Sun in reverse for Scorpio. Yeah, you got an internal battle going on here. It's like you have to rely on faith and not just work here. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't look like things is going in your favor. It's not going fast enough or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. World in reverse. Sun in reverse for Scorpio. Because like I said, being childish at first, you know what I mean? I don't see anything childish here. I don't see any swords, no five of swords. You know what I'm saying? No nine of swords. I don't see any of that on here. I see an eight of swords here. And that's coming out of your head. Coming out of being stuck. This confusion right here. It looks like you are contemplating giving up on whatever you're working on prematurely. Because the fruits of your labor ain't coming to fruition fast enough for you because this is waiting delays three of wands in, in reverse stagnancy here we go world in reverse sun in reverse for scorpio combination please world in reverse sun in reverse Maybe you need to rely more on faith here versus work and to keep trying to control because the emperor in reverse, they have control issues. You know what I'm saying? And it's on the board two times and the empress is on the board in reverse. This is not good, Scorpio. You have to give over control to, to, to God, to your higher spirituality, to your higher self, whoever or whatever you believe in here. It ain't all about just all the work you putting in right here. Yeah, the devil energy too is right here. That's also control. Oh, and Scorpios. I must admit, we do have control issues. You know, the truth is the truth. You know what I mean? Shit. Control, baby. What's the world in reverse and the sun in reverse for Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, devil in, in the upright. Okay, come on. World in reverse. Thank you. All right. Where I'm at with it? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> okay. Two of Cups in reverse. And a nine of Swords. This is worry. This is... <sighs> okay, this is worry because, like, you 
You know what I'm saying? You don't want to collab with nobody. You don't want to come together with somebody. You don't want to, excuse me, you don't want to come into union with somebody. It causes you mental, mental stress. Well, somebody ain't coming into union with you, working with you. Somebody not, come on, give me, um, what is this? Because what the fuck? You stressed out here, Scorpio, because of a disconnect here. A union. Okay, Scorpio. What's going on here? Y'all with your mysterious ass. Come on, let's get it on out here. Give me one more card for the world in reverse and the sun in reverse. This is discord. You know what I'm saying? Two of cups in reverse. This is discord. This is not harmony. This is not joyness. This is this is stress. <sighs> Thank you. Yes, emotional instability here. It's some type of connection that you waiting on, that you working on, that you going towards that is not coming to fruition for you and you losing hope for it. So you finna make the judgment call just to give up on it. Just to give up on it and, and just go on. Here we go. Let's move on. Judgment in the upright is clarified with the three of wands in the upright and the star in reverse. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Scorpio, what's going on, blood? Give me the star in reverse. For Scorpio. You got control issues, Scorpio, man. It's all, you you got some issues going on here. Sir, ma'am, bro, sis. Okay. Star reverse for Scorpio. Thank you. Page of Swords. Okay. How's that coming? It's more so in the upright. Page of swords in the upright. And the page of wands in the upright. And the hierophant. Woo! Hierophant on the board two times. In the upright. Yeah, because you seeing something for what it is and taking action elsewhere. And really, you just seeing things from a higher perspective here. And it's not really looking that great to you. With this star in reverse. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. Like I said, you was working on something here. And you want to give up on it prematurely and shit like that, right? And, 
you know, you is making a decision here not to give, not necessarily to give up on it because you have a sense of arrogance about yourself. You see what I'm saying here, Scorpio? Because, because you dead set, you can feel like you can do all this shit by yourself. This is the problem right here. This is why the shit ain't growing for you the way it's supposed to grow because you ain't coming into union. You're not working with motherfuckers. You're not coming into union in this. And this is what's causing you to stress here and why shit is delayed and not going forth the way it is because you keep on trying to go you in control. You keep on trying to be the one in control of this shit when you really need to be working with people to get this shit to go to the way that you need to go. You know what I'm saying? This seems like uh, some type of business or something here. You know, it's something that you need to be joining forces with somebody to do here, but you are not doing it. This is stubbornness too, and it's keeping you up all night with this nine of swords and stuff. You, you're you just not doing it. The emperor in reverse, that's a stubborn person. You know what I'm saying? They have control issues and stuff like that. This is not growing. Like I said, whatever you got going on here, Scorpio, is not growing at the rate that you needed to do. And things is not going the way it's supposed the way, the way that you feel like it should go because you're in control of it. Because you're not collabing. You're not working. You doing all this by yourself. It is causing you emotional um imbalance right here. Mental confusion right here. Mental anguish is keeping you up at night. This right here. This is emotional instability. This is hard times. You know what I'm saying? Right here. And the star in reverse, you know, um, it has many meanings. Like I said, giving up hope on something. But no, no, no. This is arrogance. You think the, uh, the emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse, they are arrogant. You know what I'm saying? You can be, you know, making the final decision. You fucking up, Scorpio. Okay? You fucking up. Because this star in reverse, if I'm reading it from an arrogant um, aspect with all the rest of these cards on here like this, you know what I'm saying? And this page of, page of swords and this page of wands right here and the hierophant, it's like this is how you committed. You was committed to going at this alone doing because you feel like you can do all this by yourself. You know what to do, page of swords. You know which way to go, um, page of wands. You know what I'm saying? You know. You just think you know what you know here. But whole time, you really need to be working with somebody. You really need to be collabing with somebody. You don't really need to be doing whatever you're trying to do right here. You don't need to be doing it by yourself. Okay? Here we go. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's clarified by the devil in the upright. That's Capricorn energy. We got Taurus on the board, Capricorn. We got all the airs on the board, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got, uh, yeah, yeah, Pisces. Um, yeah, Earth, Earth, uh, what the hell is the other Earth? Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, okay? And we got all the fixed elements on the board, too. So everybody's here. The gang's all here, okay? Everybody's here from every element, every sign. So we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the devil in the upright, the will of fortune in the upright, and the empress in reverse. It's like you still, like you need to give up this way of thinking. This way of being. Hold on. Let me get. What's this devil? What's the devil in the upright? Come on. Devil in the upright for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. You feel me? And like I said, this shit not going fast enough. Mm-hmm. Because you trying to control it. You need to work with people. You need to collab. Here we go. What's this world? Your control issues is what's holding you up, keeping you stagnant with this Knight of Pentacles right here. And this Three of Wands in reverse. It's your control issues. You know what I'm saying? The Chariot is also control. Here we go. What is, what is, uh, 
the uh not the world the wheel of fortune in the upright for scorpio See, and that's what your higher self is telling you, that you need to, you know, relinquish control, rely more on your faith, and um, listen to your higher self uh, as far as, like, working and collabing with people. What's this world? I mean, not world. Uh, world of fortune. And you is battling with yourself about it. And you steady, you steady trying to control it. Yeah, you steady remain, you, you, you know, you steady remaining stuck in your ways here, you know, just, just stuck in your ways here, just, yeah, mm-mm, the four swords. This is bad, bad choices, Scorpio, bad decisions here, uh, I keep saying world, um, will of fortune in the upright for Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio in the upright. You know, in the Four of Swords, that's also death. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of something. That's a coffin. You know what I'm saying? Like stuckness, you know? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And you causing all of this to yourself, Scorpio. King of Cups, here you are. You know what I'm saying? In the upright, here you are. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you was hurting yourself and acting like you like you blinded to it and shit. The Wheel of Fortune. Let me see something. Let me see something. Because no, no. No, no. What are that? Yeah, more control. More control. God damn, Scorpio. This is more control. You know? This is confusion. Distractions. Loss. Yeah. Error. You know what I'm saying? You're going about this the wrong way. You trying to get your shit, you going about it the wrong way, Scorpio. The wrong way. What's this emperor, empress in reverse? Mm, mm, mm. Whatever you working on, I'm finna clarify the eight of uh, pentacles. Because the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, these is clarifying it. This is the shit you need to give up. This is the stuff that you need to stop. You need to stop working this way. You need to stop trying to get your job done this way. You are not in control here. You have to listen to your higher self with this hierophant right here. You know, you tricking yourself. Here we go. Thank you. Empress in reverse. Six of Cups in the upright. And this is what got you, this is the Six of Cups. This is what got you in this energy right here. 
this trying to control everything trying to be in control of everything because whatever happened in your past right here this you might have got fucked over by somebody you know what i'm saying when you was trying to do something or somebody was supposed to been doing something for you or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying and you got fucked over in the past that's what got you in this thing right here because if anybody gonna fuck some shit up it's gonna be me nobody else type shit here we go Give me this Empress in reverse for Scorpio, Taurus, and Libra energy. And then this is you here with the cups right here, too. This is memories, nostalgia, you know, past events, childhood memories. Look, Ace of Cups in the upright. Like some is being given to you and you're in <sighs> Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Listen, Scorpio, you was on your way down the damn path, I'm trying to tell you. You know. You was on your way to get it. You was working towards something and you was on your way. You not you not working with somebody. Or this could be like mm, this two of pen this two of cups here. This could be you, like I said, over here. You know what I'm saying? Relying more on your spirituality, relying more on your higher self. You need to collab more so with your spiritual versus relying on your footwork. You know what I'm saying? And you're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And things is not going as fast as you want it to go. Things are not going as planned. You know what I'm saying? It's causing you all type of mental confusion, emotional instability, and anguish, and every damn thing else like that. You know what I mean? What's this Ace of Cups? In the upright. Because it's like Spirit, the Divine, is trying to give you something. You stuck in the past on whatever happened that got you this way. Six of Cups in the upright for Scorpio and the Empress. Give me the Six of Cups in the upright for the Empress in reverse for Scorpio. Thank you. The Lovers in reverse. Friends, family. Mm-hmm partnerships you know what i'm saying like i said you might have got burned in the past by somebody right here love is in reverse this is what got you this is why you all in this control mode right here trying to control what's going on here when you really need to rely on the divine more listen to your higher self more here we go ace of cups Ace of Cups in the upright with the Empress in reverse combination for Scorpio. Yeah, this page of Cups right here, you know, naivety, naivety, you know, being naive. You know what I'm saying? Making wrong decisions, being stuck. You, you, mm-mm, mm-mm. Ace of Cups in the upright with the Empress in reverse for Scorpio. One card, please. Ace 
Ace of Cups in the upright. Empress in reverse. Sorry. The Empress in reverse. Thank you. <laughs> the Empress in reverse with the Ace of Cups in the upright for Scorpio. Now, this is the world card, and it's more so in the upright. You know what I'm saying? This is a new opportunity, right? Right here, this is from the divine. This is from the divine here, this Ace of Cups. New love, new emotional happiness. You know what I'm saying? The cup is overflowing with love, joy, happiness. You know what I'm saying? This is newness, the world. You know, the world is at the palm of your hand. Here we go. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That's what it was, Scorpio. Or that's what it is. You is in this energy right here of trying to control everything. Is because in the past, you got burned by somebody who you thought, you know, look, Ten of Wands in reverse. The ten, the ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands in reverse. See? You like this right here because of whatever happened in the past. You know what I'm saying? You And you got a new opportunity here. You need to take it. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, everything is wrong. It's in the, the Ten of Pentacles in the upside down. You need to drop it. Drop these burdens right here. Drop the feeling of being weighed down, feeling like you're not. Um, you know, everything is too heavy. Things ain't going right. There's nothing the third. You need to drop this. You need to drop this way of thinking, this way of being here because it's not, it's not causing you to have financial growth, financial abundance here. It's causing you to have stagnancy. The divine is here offering you New opportunity. New, excuse me. New opportunity. New love. New love of self. A new perspective of whatever. Whatever happened. Whatever happened back here. You know. With whomever. Whether it be romantic. Or whether it be financial. Or whatever. It got you. That's how you got into this control mode. This uh, tyrant as mean as uh, lack as slow moving as shit right here. This is a bunch of shit, Scorpio. Okay, let me see. Yeah, and you are set. You set. You stuck on this. You are set in your damn ways with this. This is a bunch of car. All the a lot of these cards on here. This. This. This, this Hierophant, the Four of Swords, the Emperor in Reverse, the Empress in Reverse. You know what I'm saying? These are people that are set in their ways, stuck in their ways of doing things. Even the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. The Star in Reverse. You, you thinking that you can do all, like you know it all right here. With this page of swords right here and the page of wands right here. Like, you know everything to do. You know which direction to go. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. Because these are pages, too. It's not like they king, kings of wands or kings of swords. These are pages. You don't know shit, Scorpio. You think you know. You don't know. That's why the page of cups right here, too. You know what I'm saying? But what you do know right here is with this king of cups and the... Um, Three of Swords in reverse is that if you do shit the way you want it to, if you control shit and make the wheel go how you want it to go, that you know what I'm saying, you ain't going to be disappointed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be heartbroken. You're not going to be in um, discontentment. But this is a lie, okay? Because this is illusions, uh, error, loss, still confusion here, Scorpio. And this is you. You feel me? You need to get in tune with your higher self right here. Listen to your higher self. Let go of the way of your lower self activities. Let go of this shit. Your way of thinking. The way of you working and doing things. Eight of uh, Pentacles. 
What is you working towards? Because it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's stuck here. It's waiting. It's stagnancy here. It's slow moving. And it's all because you keep trying to control everything by yourself when you need to be in tune with your higher self. High priestess. Hierophant. Two of cups. Ace of Cups. The world is right here at the palm of your hand. Get in tune right here. Eight of Pentacles. What, what Scorpio working towards? All by their damn self. Thinking they have to have everything in control here. Like they, they know it all here. I know what to do. I know where to go. I, I see what to do. I got this shit in the bag. That's what you're saying right here. But this is toxic, bad thinking right here with this devil energy right here. It ain't getting you nowhere. You slow motion right here, Scorpio. Slow motion. Eight of Pentacles. What's Eight of Pentacles? What's Scorpio working towards? I know everything going to be different for everybody, but here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in reverse. See, this is not walking away, not leaving something alone. Come on, man. What is happening here? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles in the upright for Scorpio. Where I'm at? Ooh, it's almost an hour. Ooh. Let me wrap this up. Thank you. Ten of Swords. This is so contradictory. Because you got the Ten of Swords in the upright. And this is the end of something. This is not letting something in, walking away from it. And this is um, ending it. What the hell? Scorpio. This is a battle. Like, it's a battle right here. Yo, this is a whole battle between your lower self and higher self. Give me one more card for the Eight of Pentacles. No, 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 give me, what is this conflict, this confusion right here, give me this combination right here, eight of cups in reverse, ten of swords in the upright for Scorpio, for this eight of pentacles. Yeah, this looks like you got to, like you trying to have control of your life when you really need to fucking, what is this Ace of Swords in reverse? Your ass is fighting hard, man. You was, oh my goodness. 
Ace of Swords in reverse. You lose. This is a loss. A loss. You listen. Here we go. The love is in the upright. I was just going to say. Okay, Scorpio. Like all bullshit aside. This ain't got nothing to do with no business. You know what I'm saying? This is all about your life, Scorpio. You're trying to control your life when you need to give over your, yourself. You need to let spirit, let God control your life versus you trying to control your life. That's why you're not getting the money that you desire. That's why everything is going slow for you right here because you're not fully collabing with spirit. You got the lovers on the board two times. And like, look, this is, aces is from the divine. Like, you got a battle going on over here. Walking away from higher self and, and, uh, and lower self. You know what I'm saying? You got a battle going on here within yourself. And you feel like you got this. All you know, you got this. You need to let go of control. Things is happening for you, but it's happening slowly with this Knight of Pentacles. The only way that this shit, you're going to get this and have the palm of the world in your, the, the, the world in the palm of your hand right here is if you accept this from the divine. Look, if you working, steady going through this battle right here with this Eight of Cups in reverse and this Ten of Swords in reverse, walking away and leaving one thing for the other, you know what I'm saying, and ending some, you know what I'm saying, not ending something and ending it, going back and forth with this battle right here, you're going to lose. And you're going to lose against spirit every time. This is the Ace of Swords in reverse. You must collab. Come on over to the other side. Yo, this is deep right here, man. Yeah. So that's what's going on here. You know, you trying to be in control of your life. You know, and the reason how you got this way, Scorpio, is because of whatever happened in the past here. Whatever belief that would that you was built on in the past here in the childhood here somebody told you something somebody did something to you some happened to make you you know what i'm saying just rely on self and not rely on spirit and not rely on god to just rely on yourself you know what i'm saying to get the the the, the benefits out of your life you must co-create with spirit here you're not doing that and that's what's causing the frustration and the confusion in your world right here the world is in reverse the sun is in reverse and you have made the decision here and taken action to go at this alone committed to doing that holding on to this these control issues you're trying to control your life spirit wants to control your life so that's what i got for you scorpio you know i hope this helped if it don't apply let it fly okay don't forget to check out my daily affirmation meditation and crystal cards of the day i do them monday through friday to help you start no, to help you create your day in the most beautiful and positive way on purpose, with purpose. Okay? I'm going to say this, and I'm out. It ain't what you want to do, Scorpio. It's what spirit, God, whomever wants you to do. In order to get your wheel of fortune, in order to get your ten of pentacles, in order to get this world card upright and this sun card upright, you must listen to your higher self and follow your higher self. You cannot control what's going on here. If you want the world in the palm of your hand, new opportunities, all the damn blessings and everything, you must surrender. So here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. That's what I got for you. Peace. Thanks for spending this time with me. I love you all. Ah, peace. <laughs>